Hey guys, I'm here with a pick a card reading. So this is going to be um, what kind of spell work or spiritual work would benefit you right now and why. So go ahead and pick a number from one to three and the timestamps will be in the description. Okay, so this is going to be for pile number one. I'm going to pick one of these spell cards to see what kind of spell work would be beneficial for you in this moment. Okay, and we have peace. And it says, Bridget, goddess, and your sacred name, align within me, peace's flame. And these cards come with a little spell that you can do for each card. And I can go over that later. But so pile number one has the peace card that you need right now is to do some workings for your own peace. Okay. This is satisfaction, perfection, love, romance, treating yourself, sweet, rich, smooth, splurge, elevating your mood, doing things right, celebrating. Okay, so it's kind of like indulging a little bit and allowing yourself to enjoy what makes you happy and to find your peace. You might find peace in just relaxing with a nice piece of chocolate. <laughs> and then we have person of water. So this is all about emotions, being emotionally connected, psychic, empathetic, um, intuitive, and it's all about feeling things and this can also be someone that tends to take things personally someone that might be very sensitive um and you might be kind of like a sponge to other people's energy and that can be making you feel a little wonky and you need to take some time out and find your peace And then we have Tandem Bicycle. And this is about synchrony. So synchronized, an, al an alliance, a duo, a partnership, um, harmony. So this is being aligned. And it could be with another person in your life. Being aligned with them, being in harmony, being or with your family even. Or it can just be with yourself, being aligned within yourself. and finding balance. We have the King of Swords. Yeah. And we have the Sun.
So there's some kind of a new beginning that's going to come about. And there's a lot of um, peace needed within your mental clarity. Peace within your mind. And we have the Knight of Wands. Seven of Wands. So yeah, um, you're needing to find some mental peace, some mental clarity to, and, and when you do that, it's like you're going to have a new beginning. Um, someone might have came in and taken something from you and it could mean, it could be in the physical sense, but it doesn't have to be. It could be in any, you know, in terms of your energy, even like feeling like, um, drained like people maybe use you to um listen to their problems or like they always vent to you and it's draining you and you're dealing with everybody else's issues or it could have it could be somebody that literally just came into your life very quickly and kind of wrecked you um energetically and they've taken your power, you feel like. Um, and you need to take a step back and work on your peace. Do something that makes you happy, something that you enjoy. And this will bring your, it'll bring you back to alignment, basically. And you'll have this new beginning. And you'll be very much more mentally clear to make decisions and plans. The High Priestess, yeah. And then you can be more in touch with your intuitive side as well. So it's not just for your mental clarity, but it's for your intuition. The Knight of Swords in reverse. So, yeah, somebody came in that was not so nice. They may have come, they came in very passionately, very quickly, and you feel as though they have taken something from you. They've taken your peace, probably. They, they take your peace from you. And now is the time to start taking care of you and not this other person. Yeah, five of cups in reverse on the bottom of the deck. So it'll end all of this depression or anxiety that you've been feeling to work on your inner peace here. So this has a little peace spell that goes in the book. But you can basically do anything that brings you peace. Um, just simply sitting, if you have an altar, at your altar. If not, anywhere, any sacred space that you can create. Lighting a candle and focusing on the flame and meditating. Um, and just focusing on your peace. And doing, getting, if you like chocolate, get chocolate. And eat some chocolate. <laughs> Something that you enjoy that can make you feel good basically okay that's it for pile number one okay pile number two i'm gonna pick a spell card for you okay pile number two you got the prosperity card and it says, as this tree grows so strong, so fine, so may I prosper from the universal divine. So you would benefit from doing a little prosperity spell for yourself at the moment. And 
you have the Black Widow. Betrayal, warning, twisted turncoat, cunning, danger, toxic situation or relationship, low vibration, poisonous. Okay, unexpected attack. Hmm. And then we have Dear John. This is the cold hard truth, breaking up, setting boundaries, rejection, um, the cutting cords. And then we have Eclipse, and that's Union of Opposites, Conceal, Mask, Event, Loss of Power, Temporary Block, Support, Sudden Darkness, Hide, Overshadow. So it sounds like an ending coming to some sort of toxic situation or toxic person in your life. We have the hermit in reverse. And then we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So it's definitely time to come out of, if you've been secluding yourself or hiding away, it's time to reverse that and start coming out more and it's going you're going to start maybe socializing more or um just being around people more and it's going to put an end to this depression that may have or a period of loss um you have the king of swords So there's some kind of betrayal um, or toxic situation that you were in um, going on here. It was a low vibrational person or thing that you were involved in. And it's coming to an end. Or you need you need to cut cords with this with this situation, um, and it, this put you in a time of darkness, time of feeling 
loss, depression, um, maybe even feeling fin not financially stable. But it's time for you to cut those cords and to turn the situation around and to start taking action on this. And that's why there's a prosperity um, spell here for you to do to try to, you know, turn things around and pull that prosperity back into your life. And you want to use your logical mind for something here. You want to be very clear-minded, um, plan things properly the way, you know, not just like jump into things. And there may be someone around you who is very... Um, in a very dark place is someone that coming towards you or was already in your life that's maybe very depressed, um, very insecure. We have the Four of Cups, so you may have been just feeling kind of bored where you're at, stagnant, um, but you're going to be receiving a gift in the sense of, um, you know, working for it. You come down from this situation and move forward and work on your goals and the things that you feel that you're lacking, you want to work on those things, and you will be receiving an award or gift for it. Yeah, the Six of Swords reverse on the bottom of the deck, so you're not moving away from something. There's something that you need to reject and move away from. It could be this toxic person. There's just, there's something in your life that's very poisonous and low vibrational and it's blocking your abundance. And you need to cut your cords with this person or thing and stop hiding you know you're you're hiding away maybe secluding yourself or you're just wrapped up in in a low vibrational state but it's time to cut those cords and to move forward and that's going to break the cycle break the um feeling of stagnation and you'll have more mental clarity to move forward and doing a prosperity spell would be helpful right now for you. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pick a spell card for pile number three. And pile number three, you have the destiny card. All that I shall need to know as I walk shall now be shown. So you would be, um, it would be beneficial for you to do a spell involving your destiny, showing your destiny. hot air balloon this is all about balance freedom being uplifted going with the flow rising above a situation elevating yourself
child. So this can be someone who's stubborn. It can represent a very stubborn energy, a fixed energy. It can represent your inner child or children around you um, using your imagination, having time to play and enjoy life, having fun. And then we have unchanged. At this time, the situation is stable and unlikely to change. Okay. You may be questioning, you know, if you're on the right path right now. And it's saying that right now the situation is stable and unlikely to change, but you're, um, stubborn is coming up. So maybe you're being stubborn towards something that needs to change. Queen of Cups in reverse. So you may be feeling a little emotional. Um, it could be you or someone around you that's feeling emotional at the moment. Ten of Pentacles, so that's your future. So your future is looking good. The Ten of Pentacles is having everything in order, having everything set for not only you, but your family. So um, you may be stressing over this about your future and your destiny. But you need to find a way to free yourself, free your mind, find balance and see things from a new perspective. Maybe play, laugh more, play more. Work with your inner child. Don't worry too much about what other people think either. Worrying about um, if anybody's talking behind your back or gossiping or any of that. Just don't even let that get to you. Um, you're definitely holding your ground right now and you're protecting something. It could be, you could be protecting your family. Um, Protecting things that you have that you've worked hard for. Using your intuition. Being intuitive about the situation um, when it comes to your destiny and, you know, what you should be doing and where you're meant to be, where you end up, um, using your intuition to guide you. you need strength a little weak at the moment emotionally I'm 
looks like you're having a hard time getting your strength up. There's something going on, a situation that you need to rise above. And something, it's not changing. And maybe you need to see it from a different perspective or approach it through a different way. There's something that you need to let go of. You're holding on to something. You may be working with someone in the in the future, or you may have already done this, um, but it's like you're working with other people towards a project or a goal, um, but there's something like where someone took something from you, and that's what's causing this emotion, um, or you're fearful of doing this because you think something will be taken from you. Yeah, you have, there's a lot of anxiety, insomnia. Um, not making a choice with something. death in reverse there's something that needs to end and something that needs to be let go of and you're not allowing that to happen it's like you're holding on to it it might be something that you thought was meant for you but now you're realizing maybe that it wasn't and it's hard to let that go. But if you let it go, then you know you'll be aligned with your true purpose. devil in reverse so it's like freeing yourself um there's something that you're tied to that you want to rise above with the devil in reverse it's like freeing yourself unleashing those chains so that you can move forward and rise above the situation So this would benefit you to do a spell work or meditation to work on your destiny. To be seen what you need to see, you know, so that you can see what it is that you need in this moment. You may also be kind of battling with the concept of fate and destiny at the moment um like not knowing was this destined or did you create this you know um I think a little bit of both takes place um you can definitely create your own reality and you do have the power to make these decisions in your life to change what you want to change um and then there are things that are controlled by fate. And I think right now you're just kind of questioning where to go, what to do. It's like a little bit of confusion here. But it would be beneficial to do something towards this, like um, 
just meditate or go for a walk and meditate on the thought. Um, find a sacred space for yourself to get in touch with your intuition. And try to have a little bit more fun too. Try to laugh and play and find, try to see things from a new perspective. <laughs> 